Hello, my name is Rob Edwards and this is my YouTube channel. Welcome one and all, a very quick side presentation from my normal Doctor Who content. Just to let you know, I've released the latest monthly episode of my podcast today and it includes a reading of my science fiction story, Paint by Numbers. And as a special treat, I thought I'd give you the first couple of minutes of that on YouTube. Enjoy. At the six-month mark, they activated the language centre of his brain, and at last he could begin to make sense of the world around him. He floated in something called a pod, filled with synthiotic fluid. What synthiotic meant, he wasn't sure, but it was the word for it. The things he enjoyed splooshing in the fluid were limbs, more particularly his legs, numbering two, and his arms, numbering four. The mask covering his nose and mouth meant he couldn't talk, but he was looking forward to trying that out when he could. A figure moved across the glass in front of his pod. It was bigger than he was, but had the same general shape. It was covered in cloth, clothing, a lab coat. His mind offered up the word doctor. It seemed to fit, so he went with it. The doctor moved to the side of the pod out of sight. Focusing further out, he could see the back of another doctor working at another pod opposite his. That pod's synthiotic fluid drained away and its glass front swung open. Out of it stepped another shape, small compared to the doctor's, but if he was any judge about the same size as him. The young? Yes, young. The young Brontum stood a little shakily on the lab floor and dripped synthiotic fluid. Was he a Brontum too? It seemed likely. The doctors, he decided, were Brontum but older. The words kept coming. It was hard to keep them all straight, but if he concentrated it made sense. He moved his head from side to side. There were other pods, other doctors and young Brontum. All the younger ones were emerging from their pods. Emerging. The word triggered another part of his language centres, similar but different, something else he had seen. Up above his head, a lever with some markings on it. Letters. Words. Emergency use only. He tried the word emerge and the word emergency together. They seemed similar, but their meanings were different. But perhaps he didn't know all the meanings yet. Perhaps he should know. Perhaps that was why his pod wasn't open yet. Had the other Brontum known that they needed to pull the levers to emerge? He pulled his lever. His pod door opened up, and he was carried out into the world on a tide of synthiotic fluid. Thanks for listening. If you want to hear the rest of that, check out my podcast at www.storycastrob.co.uk. The link is in the description. And I'll join you tomorrow for my review of The Ghost Monument. Cheers.